with Vermont Tax Commissioner Mary Peterson. And monitoring your kids online. If your kids use apps like Omegle, Kick, Snapchat, and many more, then you'll want to listen to what internet safety expert Katie Greer has to say. She'll tell us about apps that should be off limits. And who is stalking young women on the streets of Burlington? Police search for a lewd offender in Top Stories. From WCAX, Vermont's most trusted news source, this is the Channel 3 News. We often hear about computer security breaches at large companies, but you can also be hacked and extorted at home. John Burden of MPI Technology Management Services is here to tell us how we can protect ourselves from ransomware. Welcome. Thanks. Hi, Gina. So what is ransomware and how do you get it? Oh, well, ransomware is uh, where uh, the, the cyber thieves have taken a good thing, which was encryption, and turned it into a bad thing uh, by uh, planting uh, things that will come onto your computer and start encrypting without your knowledge. Then they run off with what's called the key and ask for money to get it back. Okay, so are certain people more vulnerable? Does it matter what websites you're going to? Like, how do you become sure. prey to this? Well, the rules about malware apply for this just like any other malware. In terms of mm -hmm. uh, it, you mostly get infected by clicking on an attachment that had something bad to it, going to a website that uh, had a link that when you clicked on it, it infected you. Now, what do they actually get when they hack into your computer? Do they just get the files on your computer? Can they see your keystrokes and get credit card information, things like that? All kinds of variants. Anything is possible. Uh, but in general, what they've been doing is encrypting stuff that they know you like, your pictures of your kids, uh, maybe your spreadsheets, your financials, and things like that. They just encrypt it. They don't steal it. And then they run off with the key and say, you want the key back? you got to pay us some money. So what do you do? If that happens, if you get one of these warnings that pop up on your computer, do you pay that money? A certain percentage of them are hoaxes. They're not really ransomware. Okay. So you could try to disinfect with your normal malware protection software. It might disinfect it. Um, but a, a, another percent are real. And unfortunately, if you haven't taken measures in advance, you may never get your data back. Okay. The advanced measures are make good backups all the time. Backups, 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 and make sure they're clean and good, and you can go back to those and get your data back. How much money are we talking about? How much money did they ask for to get that data back? Yeah, we're talking about some pretty big dollars. Uh, for businesses, they tend to go after the tens or hundreds of thousands of dollars as a ransom. Wow. For um, home users, it's in the $300 range. They want to make it expensive enough, but not too expensive. Will they actually give you the data back? A certain percentage of these thieves are honorable thieves, and they will actually give you the key back they want to keep <laughs> Isn't that nice of them <laughs> well they want to keep the thing going because the word gets out oh I got my data back pay them the money right so how do people protect themselves at home well the protection at home is uh, understanding when you're being manipulated if something comes up on your email or on a screen that says hurry 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 click on this don't okay think about it call okay. the people that it came from uh, or look like it uh, organization look like it came from and be careful about what you click on how effective is this scam it's very effective. We're talking, you know, five million dollars a year. Uh, it's it's good dollars for these thieves and growing. So uh, it's a lot better than Robin Banks in terms of the success rate. Really? So if you are infected, do you just back up and go to your last restore? Something right. like exactly. that? Exactly. What you want to do is use your backup technology. Uh, if you've made a restore disk for your operating system, you fall back to all of that and then go back to your last good backup and, and go forward from there. You might lose a little data, okay. but you'll get it, most of it back. How do you know if it's actually ransomware, not just a hoax like you were saying before? Well, first, I would try to disinfect with your normal anti-malware software. If it is able to disinfect it, uh, then I certainly uh, would not worry uh, beyond that. Uh, you can also go to another computer and check it out on the internet, and, and there often are places where they have techniques to, to you know, get rid of it. Okay, so you shouldn't be closing out your credit cards and worrying about stuff like that right away. No, I would watch it. Always monitor your credit cards and all that, but uh, many of these aren't really running after passwords and bank accounts and things like that. By the way, if you're doing this in a business, if you suspect you've got ransomware, the first thing is to unplug it from the network because it oh. could infect hundreds of thousands of files on your network of business. All right, John Burton of NPI, some great tips. Thanks for being here tonight. Thank you. Bye.